This episode of The Young Turks brought to you by Jack Threads for the win. Media Matters has found a Fox former employee. It is an insider that has given them the scoop on what uh, his experience at Fox News was when he worked there for a number of years. He no longer works there. He's a former employee. Uh, now, a lot of people go anonymously uh, because Fox is notorious for being vindictive against former employees, and plus they often sign non-disclosure agreements that are legally binding. Uh, that is why sometimes they report on Fox News anonymously. Now, I know the people at Media Matters. Uh, look, whenever this source is anonymous, I'm going to tell you so you, you make your own judgment on it. I'd be shocked if they didn't. <laughs> I don't think they're making it up, right? Let, I'm, that's my perspective on it. I think they really got somebody who's giving them uh, exactly how it worked in Fox News. Uh, eventually, I would prefer for people to definitely go on the record. Uh, but I know for a fact that Fox News does, because I've got my own sources, uh, does go after former employees. If they say anything like this, they're in a world of trouble. They've got a massive legal team there ready to chase them down, and this guy alludes to it as well. So what did he say? He says that the stuff at Fox News is, quote, just made up. Now, there's a lot of devastating quotes in here. Let me walk you through them. First thing is, he says, quote, uh, it is their M.O. to undermine the administration and to undermine Democrats. They're a propaganda outfit, but they call themselves news. So now a lot of the, this is very important because a lot of the other news outlets uh, will say, oh, no, like remember when Fox News, when o Obama administration very briefly took on Fox News and said they don't do legitimate news. All the other news outlets jumped on and said, oh, no, you can't do this to poor Fox News. No, no, no. They're a great news organization. You can't beat up on them like this. Now, part of the reason they did that is a lot of people that work at those organizations might one day work at Fox News or at some point worked at Fox News earlier. Got to know where your bread is buttered, right? I'm keeping it real. That's definitely part of the answer. Well, this guy who already worked there says nonsense, propaganda outlet. Now, he gets into further details. Second big quote. He says, like any news channel, there's a lot of room for non-news content. The content that wasn't news, they didn't care what we did with it, as long as it was amusing or quirky or entertaining, as long as it brought in eyeballs. But anything, anything that was a news story, you had to understand what the spin should be on it. If it was a big enough story, uh, it was explained to you in the morning editorial meeting. If it wasn't explained, it was up to you know that the conservative take on it. There's a conservative take on every story, no matter what it is. So you either get told what it is, or you better intuitively know what it is. Now, uh, you know, obviously I've had some experience in cable news. Uh, there are these things called morning meetings. They're very normal uh, and sensible. You get together in the morning, you decide what the big news stories of the day are, and then you go uh, produce your, get your show ready. You produce the show based on the decisions you made in the morning meeting. Now, what happens at Fox News that is different than what happens at the other outlets is they give you a memo as this guy is explaining telling you you must take the conservative position on this there is no such similar thing at the other organizations nobody comes and tells you what to report what to say there is no memo that comes down and says you must use this language that was another revelation that media matters had earlier where they found a memo uh, leaked to them by an insider at fox news saying here is the language you must use for example one of the things they're doing recently is instead of calling uh, the health care bill health care bill, they call it Obamacare. That was a memo written by the top saying you must call it that word because the whole point is propaganda. Now, uh, and by the way, those memos are not just for their opinion hosts. Much more importantly, they're for their so-called news anchors. That's why they're a propaganda outfit. Now, third major quote. He said, for the first few years, it was like, and he, apparently he was at Fox News for a long time and from the beginning. He says, for the first few years, uh, let's take uh, the conservative take on things. And then after a few years, it evolved into, well, it's not just the conservative take on things. We're going to take the Republican take on things, which is not necessarily in lockstep with the conservative point of view. So that's where they start to get to the point where they're like, yeah, it's one thing to have a perspective, but let's just skip that and support the Republican Party, and just become a propaganda outlet for them. Now, if they were conservative as opposed to Republican, that would be better. That's their perspective. If they're Republican, they're just a 
just a tool for one party. That's all it is. But it gets worse. He continues. Um, and then two, three, five years into it, that into that, that it was, we're taking the Bush line on things, which was different than the GOP. We were a Stalin-esque mouthpiece. It was just what Bush says goes on our channel. And by that point, it was just totally dangerous. This is what we're talking about when we say propaganda. Look, you can do advocacy journalism. We have a perspective. The Nation a magazine has a perspective. The Weekly Standard has a perspective. They're conservative. National Review. All these different people do, in some way, advocacy journalism. They're honest about it. They say, I'm conservative or I'm liberal, and now here's a story I'm reporting. Fox News says they are not conservative, that they're fair and balanced. But in reality, they're not even conservative. They're Republican, and during the Bush years, they were simply just an apparatchik for the Bush administration. As this guy says, that's what the Soviets used to do. Um, he, and then finally, fourth quote here, he says, I don't think people understand that it's an organization that's built and functions by intimidation and bullying. And its goal is to prop up and support Republicans and the GOP and to knock down Democrats. People tend to think that stuff that's on TV is real, especially under the guise of news. You think that people would wise up, but they don't. And he says that is one of the reasons that he came out, because he couldn't believe that people kept treating it as if it was real news, because he'd been inside. He knew it, and he thought it was obvious to everybody. We're getting our talking points. All of the anchors are saying the same thing, not just the opinion guys. All the reporters are saying the same thing. And they're saying the same thing because we got together in a morning meeting, and Roger Ailes told us what to say and what they say every single time is the Republican Party is right, the Democrats are wrong. How much clearer does it have to be? What is it going to get through your heads? Jack Threads is a new sponsor for TYT. They're a members-only online shopping club, but because you know us, you're going to get in. Aren't we cool? <laughs> <laughs> but here's a key part to it, 80% off. Hello, up to 80% off of the, some of the top apparel lines in the country. Game over. Right. So go to jackthreads.com slash TYT because it's free to join, and you get all those discounts, and you avoid the pain in the ass. The ending of this commercial is a little schwang, right?